everyone is limited by something. For Harry Potter, it is the cursed scar. For my dad, it is a lack of appreciation for good literature. For me, it is what I call the outsider's fallacy. It means being trapped in the outsider's shoes while learning something new. When I was young, I always dreamed of having a personal computer, not to play games, but to program it to do cool stuff. This was mostly inspired by the American cartoons I watch, like Johnny Quest, Dexter's Lab, Inspector Gadget. However, back then, computers were luxuries for most Chinese families, including mine. Eventually, the chance came. My middle school offered all the students free computer lessons. Besides textbooks, every student was required to buy a floppy disk to keep track of class progress. On the first day of class, I waited anxiously outside the computer lab, holding a black floppy disk that really felt like a ticket to the future. Entering the computer lab was almost like performing a ritual. Everyone had to wear shoe covers and remain silent. I waited, counting the seconds. One, two, three. 301, 302. Eventually, the teacher came. With a commanding tone, she announced a long list of rules. Do not touch the computer before the start of the class. Anyone not following rules will be banned. Then she took out a key and opened the door. A pristine white classroom floor appeared in front of me, and the whole place felt like a temple. We all tiptoed towards our seats in fear of breaking things and getting banished. I sat down, amazed by the object in front of me, a brand new black and white Lenovo desktop. I still remembered the moment when my teacher told us to turn on the computers. The clicking sound of the power button, the flashing of the LED lights, and the continuing flowing of operating system messages. Everything was so wonderful, mysterious, and magical. My wish had been granted. Yet I felt like an outsider, a tourist, a worshiper visiting a holy place, and the computer was my sacred idol. In that moment, I was an actor playing a character that wasn't me. In high school, there were computer exams. The computer lessons were fairly easy, mostly about the functions of keys on keyboard and how to use a Microsoft Office. Yet, I struggled. A voice in my head constantly reminded me, you are just an outsider, forget it. The computers aren't for you. After two attempts, I barely managed to pass the test. Computer and I became strangers. Somewhere in my heart, I still loved computers. In my sophomore year of college, I registered a computer science class for programming Visual Basic. Initially, I thought I would drop it before the second week. But somehow, I got hooked. The classes were fairly technical, but very engaging. I learned how to design graphical user interfaces and the writing code to make them functional. In other words, I learned how to program computer to do what I wanted. During the lab sessions, I spent a fairly good amount of time just tinkering with the program that the way I felt like. It was liberating. 
at the end of the term, I pass the final exam of that class. And surprisingly, the instructor gave me an A. The outsider's shoes that trapped me for so long started to disappear. Looking back, I think, to learn anything well, one needs to be able to play with it. No rules, no expectations, just play.